Hello viewers, I'm back with another video and this time my video is basically about a trip, a two-day trip to Whistler. Whistler is a small hill station also called as a village situated in BC, that's British Columbia, Canada. It is one of the most popular tourist destinations in BC, well because of its scenic beauty, various lakes, adventure spots, etc, etc, food and definitely the vibe. We began our journey from Abbotsford, that's a small town situated in BC, again British Columbia. scenic beauty of this place, the journeys, it's commendable. This particular bridge that we are at is called Portman Bridge, which connects Surrey and Vancouver. This was built in 2009, which does not make it very old. It's very, very beautiful. This bridge has Burnaby, leads to Burnaby and has Coquitlam to the left, left of it and it straight away goes to the underpath. Yes, and the city that you can see just right in front of us is the beautiful city of Burnaby. There are a number of water bodies that you'll be able to see while on your way to Whistler from, from Abbotsford. This is one of the beautiful and magnificent water bodies that I saw on my way to Whistler. I wouldn't know the name, I just don't remember or I would say I don't know the name of this water body. Yes, we did encounter Fraser River while coming to this pathway but I will leave that to you guys to find the name of this water body that comes on the pathway to Whistler. Do mention in the comments. And ta-da! We landed in Whistler village. And guess what was the first thing that we did after landing in here? Yes, the world famous gondola ride. How can we miss that? Well, we took our gondola ride from the upper village basically whistler village is divided into three parts first one is upper village and then is village north and then is which village central so we took because our lodge our hotel was in the upper village so we started with our gondola from the upper village this gondola ride connects the upper village to the gondola mountain basically it's called the blackcomb mountain when you're starting your gondola from the upper village connecting to the Blackcomb mountain, you get to choose how many people get to sit in your gondola cabin. We chose just two of us, you can choose that. And the moment we landed in there, it was very 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 beautiful. We visited in summer so we couldn't see any of the snow. Oh uh, yes, we were wearing summer clothes because it was pretty hot in the day. And I think it's a good time to visit Whistler, though winter has its own pros, but we prefer to travel in summers. When we landed in on the Gondola Mountain, we just sipped a few uh, drinks and just had some snacks and moved further. We opted to go for the second ride and that was not coming back to the village, but that was the peak to peak gondola ride. So what is this peak to peak gondola ride? This connects the gondola mountain to another peak of the village and that's what we were heading to. One can enjoy the breathtaking views of Whistler from this ride. The peak to peak gondola ride is usually shared with other tourists.
After returning from gondola, we had our lunch at Gibbons. This place has its own vibe. This place offers you scrumptious food. This is the Central Village Market. This is the most happening market in Fisler that contains a lot of uh, restaurants, a lot of um, souvenir shops, shopping places. Beautiful. I mean, the, the beauty of this place is breathtaking. This does not make you feel this is Canada. This more of gives a lot of vibe of, uh, I think, French architecture because of uh, the architecture of this place is more like French so it gives you French vibe in there. You get to have all kinds of restaurants in here, may it be Italian, may it be French, may it be Indian, may it be any cuisine, you just get there. The people, the vibe out there is definitely out of this world. You forget that you're in Canada. Thereafter, we had a walk through the village. At this place, you can see people from all over the world, not just Canada, but definitely from all over the world. We had a dinner at an Italian restaurant called La Bosca. I personally loved their food. The very next day we had a breakfast at this Mogul cafe. The next activity that we both opted to do was, yes, bike riding. Well, this place promotes uh, this bike riding a lot. Because of the beautiful trails it has, yes, and we couldn't stop ourselves from trying this well biking is a thing which brings out your childhood memories at least mine and his too <laughs> so yes we did that but mind you mind this is no simple bike riding yes if you do a lot of cardio on your daily basis good but if you believe you don't do enough cardio, you're not an exercise person, then watch out. <laughs> Before coming in here, we were told that you guys need to be careful of the bears on the path. Well, yes, I would say yes, you need to be because there are multiple boats that you would see telling you beware of the bears. They can come out anytime from anywhere. Yes, we were careful, but we enjoyed the ride. Well, did you want to ask where were we going? Yes, so this is another beautiful place that we visited and it is the lake. It is. This lake is called the Lost Lake. This is a very, very, very beautiful lake. You could see people coming in here, just enjoying, lazing around, picnicking and they bring their boats, their, their picnic stuff in here. Families come in here and enjoy, couples come in here and enjoy. Don't forget to bring your food, your mats and enjoy the nature. We spent our afternoon enjoying and relaxing under the sky.
This place is called Whistler Olympic Plaza, a legacy of the 2010 Winter Games. Whistler Olympic Plaza is a state-of-art outdoor performance facility and community space with a park and playground set against one of Whistler's most dramatic backdrops. Each winter, Whistler Olympic Plaza is transformed to an outdoor skating rink with the most spectacular view. Because Whistler is so extravagant that we could not manage to do everything and hear all the activities in just two days. But I can definitely suggest you to do a, more, a lot more of activities that you could do if you're planning a longer trip. This part of the village again offers num numerous shops of clothing, restaurants, ice cream bars. This particular part of Whistler has more scenic beauty as compared to that of the other parts. Finally, we found an Indian restaurant, Indian Masala Bistro, and I ended our day with this. They offer some mouth-watering food. The smile says it all. I hope you guys liked my video. For more such videos and content, do not forget to subscribe my channel, like and hit the bell button. Thank you. See you in the next video. And the very next morning, we left Whistler with this beautiful weather.